Here's space. I asked my son to draw a picture of a black hole. He asked, what's a black hole? I said, it doesn't matter, just draw one. This is what he drew. Not bad, eh? And not expensive. It cost about zero dollars. Scientists have come up with simulations of what they suspect black holes should look like. Here's a picture that cost a couple of million dollars of research funding. And finally, a few days ago, a team of scientists at the Event Horizon Telescope EHT, which have spent the last six years of setting up a worldwide network of radio telescopes, have taken a picture of an actual black hole. And this is what it looks like. It kind of resembles my son's picture, only a little bit more pixelated, don't you think? But of course, I'm kidding. This is the actual black hole. According to estimates, this black hole cost about $19.3 million. In around 2014, the European Research Council gave a team of about 250 scientists about 14 million euros to find a way to take a picture of an actual black hole. Six years later, we have a result. Luciano Rezzolla, a black hole researcher from Goethe University Frankfurt stated, Our view was that funding this would allow us to take the first picture of a black hole and this picture would go in every textbook. I hope this is what's going to happen. Now we know what a black hole looks like. EHT project director Shepard Dolleman said in a statement, Breakthroughs in technology, connections between the world's best radio observatories, and innovative algorithms all came together to open an entirely new window on black holes and the event horizon. If you are disappointed with the cost involved and the seemingly bad resolution of the black hole photo, according to a page on the EHT website, Obtaining sharp images of the black hole event horizon is very challenging. The resolution is akin to counting individual dimples on a golf ball in Los Angeles, from New York. If you really want a better resolution, you could always download an artist's impression, like this one, or ask your seven-year-old to draw you one. That's what I did. He didn't even have to know what one was. I'll finish with a quote from American astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson that I think is quite fitting. The universe is under no obligation to make sense to you. The good thing about science is that it's true, whether or not you believe in it.